What's going on this morning? How y'all doing out there? This video gonna be about that Missouri couple, that Bonnie and Clyde couple, or Scarface and his Bonnie, however you want to call it. Um, they pleaded guilty, got a misdemeanor slap on the wrist for waving guns at friendly protesters last year during the March for Justice, where black protesters marched to their house, marched to their property in Missouri. They did not come on the property, but these two husband and wife tag team were waving guns on their yard, on, on their porch, to intimidate, to violate, and to show white supremacy is what I think. And so they got a slap on the wrist. They just got their, um, you know, guns taken away from them. And you just think to yourself, intimidation. And they were also featured on CNN, and I think they were on Fox News, and they were at one of them Trump rallies. You know what their gender was. And they had some... You know, <clears throat> they were known, you know, in the community and everything like that. But, <clears throat> you know, these people, these bigots, first class, first timers, you know. And do you really think that there had been a black couple waving uh, guns in front of white kids, people protesting or something? Do you think that it would have been the same outcome? I don't think so. I think the National Guards and helicopters would have came on the couple's property and smashed. And then probably, you already know what happened, would have been a massacre. They got a slap on the wrist. They got treated with white privilege and they got treated like, okay, just don't let this happen again. Go to your room, clean up, go clean it up. This was unnecessary by the couple. I watched the footage from Missouri last August. Nobody infiltrated their property. They walked through the area, but they did not come directly on within six feet, three feet, two feet. However you want to do a guidelines, they went nowhere near. This couple purposely put themselves sought out to do this, to get the press, to intimidate, to show white supremacists and white privilege. And therefore, that's what ended up happening. So they got a lot of publicity to support Trump, and he endorsed it. And I'm surprised that he didn't give him a, a uh, not just a plea, but a pardon. I'm really surprised that they even got charged with misdemeanor. Because this is like a backhand high five for being white. And I say it like that because think about what they did. They was out there trying to intimidate with guns. Like this dude thought he was Scarface for real. And like that was his bonding. That was his sidekick. And that's the kind of thing that no matter what kind of Juneteenth bills that Joe Biden signs and this other mess that they putting out. Until you stop the anti-black like you do the anti-Asian law. Put something into effect. You're not going to really even touch tap into racism because they're going to still feel they can do what they want. And this was a good example. Please give me your thoughts. It takes about the Missouri couple who got a hit with a misdemeanor for flashing guns to black marchers. Unfair. They, they, they should never have had the guns flashed upon them. Please hit the like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, they did not send the right message in the sentence for them getting their guns took they they were trying to do a lot more that couple was i'm out